Hallelujah, Father, thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you, God, for the outpouring of your power. Thank you, God, for the outpouring of the fire of God. Thank you, Father, for your presence. Thank you, God, for your revelations. Thank you, Father, for your visions. Thank you, God, for your dreams. Thank you, God, for your encounters. Thank you, God, for your experiences. Thank you, mighty God, for your promise. Thank you, God, for your covenant. Thank you, God, for your grace. Thank you, God, for your mercies. Thank you, God, for your compassion. Thank you, God, for protecting. Thank you, God, for comforting. Thank you, God, for leading. Thank you, God, for directing. Thank you, God, for fellowshipping. Thank you, God, for loving. Thank you, God, for caring. Thank you, God, for giving. Thank you, God, for coming. Thank you, God, for ascending. Thank you, God, for leaving with us the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Abba. Oh, thank you, Jehovah. Thank you. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you. We don't take it for granted today. The God, you have given us power. Thank you, God. Thank you. And so today we answer like Isaiah. Hallelujah. Mm. In Isaiah 6, 8, who shall I send? Father, we answer today, here I am, Lord, send me. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, right where you are, begin to give God the glory that he deserves. Because if it had not been for his mercies and his grace, we wouldn't be here. Hallelujah. But because he loves us so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We honor God this Pentecost Sunday. We honor the presence of the Almighty God. And even now, right where you are, I pray that you open your spirit of the Holy Ghost ministers to you now. Hallelujah. A day of power. A day of fire, a day of filling. Mm. Hallelujah. As I began to stay still and be still in the presence of God, just to hear what he wants to say to the people. And as I watch the hours pass and I say, but God, what is it that you want to say now? I know we want to hear about Pentecost. And as I waited, and I waited, the Lord says, it's time for his remnants to roar. It's time for the remnants to roar. Oh, glory be to God. Mm. In the book of Acts chapter 1, 
Hallelujah. There was the clear indication that God is true to his words and ever promise that he has made to his people. The word of God tells us that after Jesus rose from the grave, he showed himself to bring about full evidence that he is alive, that he is in fact the redeemer of our sins. He is the redeemer of our lives. And he spent over 40 days on earth speaking, hallelujah, glory be to God, to the people of God. But then he went on, and this is the essence of Pentecost Sunday. He said, listen, as he gathered the people together, he said, wait for the promise of the Father. Hallelujah. There is a promise that God has made to the people. Jesus said, John baptized with water. But God shall baptize with the Holy Ghost not many days from now. And in verse 8 of chapter 1, he said, You shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and he shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Glory be to God. And after that, Jesus ascended into the heavens. The word of God tells us that when he had spoken these things, he was taken up and taken received and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, two men stood by them in white apparel. He said, they said unto them, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into the heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, so come in like manner as he seen him go into heaven. He shall come again. In other words, he's coming back. And the men of God, the apostles, they went back to Jerusalem and they went into the upper room. Hallelujah. They went into the upper room and while they were there, the word of God says they continued with one accord. Hallelujah. They continued in one accord in prayer and supplication. Mm. Hallelujah. And I hear the Lord saying to us, his people today, hallelujah, we need to continue, hallelujah, in unity. We need to continue in prayer. We need to continue to seek him. Oh, glory be to God. And the word of God continues in chapter 2. That when the day of Pentecost was fully come. And we understood that the, the men and women of God continued in prayer, on, in supplication until the day of Pentecost. They were all in one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind and it filled the house where they were sitting. And what came on them was were tongues of fire and they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord says it's time for the remnants to roar. People of God, Jesus, as he was speaking to his disciples, he was speaking to the apostles, the chosen people he has called, 
you chosen. Look again in Acts 1 verse 2. At the end of that verse, he said, you are chosen. And because you are chosen, he has called you to a place of waiting. And in that place of waiting, you will pray, you will fast, you will seek him. You will wait for the promise. The past three days, several of us have embarked on a fast that the Lord God has initiated. And we have seen the move of God, where the fire of God was literally, tangibly felt. We were not in the same building. We were in our homes. We not everyone was connected through the different virtual sessions, whether it be Zoom or through WhatsApp or whatever forum. But the fire of God was felt as there was spirit man. We were all in one accord. Hallelujah. Speaking the same language. Hallelujah. The language of the spirit. Glory be to God. Waiting on God. As we went through these three days, seeking the heart of God to hear what he has to say in this time. And many do have had, they've had their encounters, their experiences. They've heard from God. Hallelujah. That the, 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 the portal of healing has been opened and the prophetic realm is released even now. Mm. And the fire of God is so real. And even as you listen this, you will experience the fire of God. Hallelujah. And as the Lord continues even now to minister through me, he said, my daughter, I want the remnants to roar. Daddy, what do you mean? The earth is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. The earth is longing for the remnants of the Most High God, waiting for us to roar, waiting on us, hallelujah, to manifest the power of God. I want to remind you, people of God, that before Pentecost, that the, the works of the Holy Spirit was rather external instead of within. Back then they would normally cast a lot to find out the mind of God. But on the day of Pentecost, and onwards, the Holy Spirit indwells. The Holy Spirit is within us. The Lord wants us to understand today, and just to remind, to remind us that the moment we accepted Jesus Christ in our life, the moment that we said Jesus is really the way, the truth, and the life. Yes, he died on the cross for my sins. Yes, he redeemed me. He rescued me. Then you would have accepted, you would have accepted not just the water baptism, but the baptism of the Holy Spirit that's on the inside of you. Hallelujah. And this is a permanent hallelujah a permanent fixture a permanent ah uh, the, the permanency of the holy spirit is there hallelujah through the baptism hallelujah but the lord god wants to say to somebody today that it doesn't stop there there has to be a, an infilling and on the day of Pentecost, remember, they, they, they didn't have the Holy Spirit before. And now this was a promise that God has made, that he had made to his people. 
And the word of God tells us uh, that, that what happened suddenly was a, a wind, a mighty rushing wind. The Holy Spirit came, my Ramanda my God. And it filled the place, it filled the house. And also fire, tongues of fire. And children of God, when the Holy Spirit comes and starts to fill you, hallelujah, we experience the fire, hmm, hallelujah, hallelujah, and we begin to speak the language of the Spirit, hallelujah. We now synchronize, hallelujah, with the Holy Spirit, and we align with what the Lord God wants to say. It's no longer our will, but his will being done. Oh, glory be to God. And so the promise was released here on the day of Pentecost. The promise of fire. The promise of the filling of the Holy Spirit. The power of God himself, the dunamis power. Hallelujah. To do exploits, to do greater. Ha, ah, Holy Spirit. And I hear the Lord even now mm, that he wants us as his people to believe it all. In the book of Romans 10 verse 17, it says, Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Do you believe? Do you believe with a, without a shadow of a doubt? That Jesus is who he says he is. Do you believe that the Holy Spirit, the comforter, the Holy Spirit, the guide dwells on the inside of you? Are you a sentimental Christian that is, uh, that is just living on memories? Living on the good old days when things were going uh, the way that you can remember. Uh, you can remember some healing times. You can remember when the power of God moved. Glory be to God. You can remember when the power of God filled the entire church or filled the atmosphere. You can remember the God Almighty uh, when you prophesy uh, things over your life and your family and others and you see coming to pass. Uh, are you living in the past or are you living now? Are you roaring? Hallelujah. You see, God is calling us as a people to subscribe to the Holy Ghost in this time, glory be to God, where the world is, is, is in a lockdown, good God Almighty. The world is facing a pandemic. And, and we see many persons have been sus subscribing to so many different, uh, uh, it's either a news channel or a social media platform. They're, they're, they're signing up for so many different virtual opportunities. But is anyone really taking the time out to subscribe and sign up to the Holy Spirit? The full power of the Holy Spirit. Are you taking the time out, good God Almighty, to, to be at that place where you are one? Hmm, where you are one with the Holy Spirit. In, in Acts, when we look at the book of Acts, uh, it reminded us that the apostles, along with the other women of God, uh, they continued in prayer. They continued in worship. They continued in supplication. They continued in that which Jesus has instructed them. He has taught them to fast and to pray. So it continued, hallelujah, the lifestyle, it continued until, hallelujah, the promise of the Holy Spirit came upon them. Now, people of God, we are living in a time, hallelujah, where we have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit within us. Mm. But have we truly subscribed to, to that which the Lord wants to do for him to dwell and to stay and come alive? Glory be to God and manifest through us. Over the past three days, we embarked on a, in a, a three day absolute fast. Glory be to God. Where the Lord instructed us and he, he, he gave us, glory be to God, uh, the outline for what he wants to be done each day. And each day he showed up. Hallelujah. Prior to the fast, he showed up for several folks and he spoke. Hallelujah. And he comforted hearts of those that, that felt doubt and fear. And, and they were questioning so many things that were happening around them. In the midst of what we're seeing now. In the midst of racism. 
all over the news we see what's happening glory be to god what took place with george floyd and we sympathize and we cry out and ask the lord just show up we want you god to vindicate oh glory be to god we want you god to bring justice because people of god it's never by might nor by power but it's only through the spirit of god we'll try everything in our power as humans but we'll fail without god and the lord is saying hey I have, I have what you're looking for in order for your voice to roar to the uh, to the legislative body, for your voice to roar to the White House, for your voice to roar to the justice system, for your voice to roar to the police, the police uh, uh, departments all over the world. That's not just not just the United States of America, uh, but we see racism, we see all sort of ism and schism that's taking place. Uh, across the world that is causing the people of God to be distracted in a time when they should be empowered and filled by God. But we want to take things in our own hands. But I hear the Lord saying just as he told, uh, as he said unto the people, he told his apostles and his, his disciples, he said, wait. He said, wait. Mm. He said, wait. Ah, oh, glory be to God. He said, listen, wait for the promise. He said, wait. He said, wait. And I hear the Lord saying, glory be to God. We got to learn how to wait on the Lord. Glory be to God. The promise was made. Remember the uh, the word in Luke 24, 49. He said, I am going. Jesus was speaking. Oh, glory be to God. Jesus, uh, uh, God, uh, the beautiful name of Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Ah, uh, the glory himself glory be to God ah the gracious one our goodness our guide our giver mighty God we can call on the name of Jesus all day ah glory be to God ah we bless his name Jesus said in the book of Luke 29 uh, 24 49 he said I am going to send you what my father has promised mm. And God is a promise keeper. He never breaks a promise. Oh, glory be to God. He said he honors, hallelujah, his words above his very name. Oh, glory be to God. And the promise said, stay in the city. But stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from high. Uh, the power cannot come, glory be to God, from earth. The power cannot come from the government bodies. The power cannot come from the scientists. The power cannot come from your status. It cannot come from your titles. It cannot come from your money. It cannot come from your husband or your wife. It cannot come from your relationship. It cannot come from your children. It has to come from high. It has to come from the Almighty God. It has to come from the Almighty God. God. But God says, as you wait on the promise, ah, just be clothed now. Mm. Be clothed now. Mm. Prepare yourself. Prepare in prayer. Prepare in supplication. Prepare in fasting. Prepare in true worship to me. He said, they that worship must worship in spirit and in truth. Oh, glory be to God. Ah, God. And the Lord continues. He said, now, mm. In order for us to move to the next place, ah, Holy Spirit of the Living God, mm. He said He wants us, Hallelujah, uh, to move from the place where we're shaking our faith. He wants real faith. Yes, where you believe, mm -hmm. where you believe, where you have no doubt, where you will dwell only by faith. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Ah, you will not be in and out. You will not be skipping around, but you will be tarrying and waiting on the promise of God. If he says it, it is a yes and an amen. Oh, glory be to God. Ah, hear your Holy Spirit. I'm now, ah, people of God as they waited. Mm. And I want you to understand in this context now, because the uh, then the, Pent the, the, the time of the Pentecost in Acts, uh, it already passed, but there, glory be to God, bless the name of Jesus, uh, but as you, people of God, as sons of God, as children of the Most High God, ah, uh, uh, you have the power within you that you're underutilizing, you are not roaring, ah, uh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm hearing too much meow, meow, I'm not hearing your roar, I need to hear your roar with the power, 
power of God. That's what the Lord is saying. He's not calling you to, to be, oh my God, to be limping in this time, uh, to be so silent, to be in the back of the wilderness, uh, to be sitting and watching all that is going on, what is going on in the churches, in the news. Uh, good God Almighty, where is your voice? Um, where is the sound? Where is the release? Where is the compassion? Uh, God, where is the commission that he has given unto you? Mm -hmm. I hear you, Holy Spirit. Mm. People of God, the divine presence of God is as was as explained in the book of Acts. Mm. Glory be to God. Ah, in the day of Pentecost, uh, when it was fully come, uh, I came with a wind. Mighty God. Uh, it came with a wind and it came with fire. And so many times uh, we hear people testifying of the fire. Uh, uh, mighty God. Mm. Because the infilling of the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, it is continuous. Glory be to God. Uh, and so you will uh, you'll sense the Holy Spirit now. And then tomorrow because uh, uh, whatever is happening glory be to God you have to seek God some more you have to seek him some more and I believe even now people of God hallelujah bless the name of Jesus uh, uh, that it is continuous uh, understand that God wants to be there for us uh, glory be to God he wants to continuously fill us uh, he wants to continuously be there uh, to give us more glory be to God it was Paul who says listen uh, uh, be sober minded don't be drunk now with wine but be filled with the Holy Holy Spirit. Uh, so we know it's continuous. Uh, we need hallelujah. Oh glory be to God. Uh, God to have that control. My God where the Holy Spirit um, uh, continues to fill us and empowers us uh, and equips us uh, for service. Um, uh, bless the name of Jesus. Um, uh, let me go on because the Lord God he wants to, uh, my God he wants to break down roar to you. Um, uh, my God roar. Um, uh, and R stands for receive power. Um, uh, the Lord wants you to receive receive power. Uh, the same power that he talks about in Acts chapter 1, 8, uh, that he says you shall receive power of the Holy Ghost. After that, the Holy Ghost um, uh, is come upon you. Uh, people of God, understand that it's time to be so sensitive uh, to the Holy Spirit to detect his voice. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, quench not the Holy Spirit. Uh, grieve not the Holy Spirit. Uh, so many times the uh, people of God have been short-circuiting uh, what God wants to do in the earth realm and you are the vessel you are the legal vessel hallelujah that is housing the power of God you are the legal vessel that is carrying the mandate and he said now receive it uh, by faith receive it by faith that means you won't doubt them you won't question you will receive God and you'll say yes God I believe you now yes God I trust you now and it's not just gonna be your mouth but it's your heart. Ah, uh, glory be to God. Uh, because it's your heart now that the Lord, ah, uh, uh, he sees the faith in the heart um, and he works uh, upon your heart, the posture of your heart. Ah, um, uh, we can say out of our mouth that we love someone, but in our heart it is far. Ah, um, uh, we may be uh, harboring bitterness or envy or uh, whatever the case may be. And God sees this, uh, but even now he wants you to know that he sees uh, from the inside out and he's uh, inviting you to believe him. Glory be to God. Ah, uh, uh, I was a few now uh, glory be to God uh, a month ago a couple months ago when the Lord uh, spoke the word just believe uh, as simple as that just as always spoke to Abraham uh, mighty God um, uh, uh, back in the book of Genesis 12 uh, mighty God um, uh, and he spoke about the Abrahamic covenant uh, good God almighty and I hear the Lord saying um, uh, the man of God he uh, he didn't even he move he move at the instruction and that's what the Lord wants uh, for you to believe um, uh, in order for you to receive you got to believe. Oh, people of God, uh, you have to be at the place uh, hallelujah, where you are subscribed glory be to God, where you are signed up and my God, mm you are maintaining hallelujah the Holy Spirit oh glory be to God mighty God you receive power and I hear the Lord saying as he promised in the book of Joel oh mighty God in the book of Joel chapter 2 mighty God verse 28 Mando Rebecca Saya he said my God he said and afterward I will pour out my spirit on all people now that's the promise he's pouring out the spirit he's pouring out the Holy 
Spirit and all people where the sons and daughters will prophesy and our old men will dream dreams and our young men will see visions. Oh, glory be to God. Ah, we thank the Lord for the Spirit that is being poured out now. Ah, glory be to God. Come on, people of God. Don't let this power miss you. Don't let this infilling miss you. In the name of Jesus. Um, oh, glory be to God. You got to believe. Um, hallelujah. Um, in the book of Matthew 3, verse 11. Uh, oh, glory be to God. Uh, hallelujah. Mighty God. When John says, listen, um, I baptize you with water for repentance. Uh, repentance is absolutely necessary. This is where you got to move uh, in the complete truth of the word of God. Um, my God. Um, repentance is not being preached uh, nowadays. Uh, oh, Ramando Shyam. Um, but God says, repent. Uh, repent. Repenter. Ah, my God, John says, listen, I baptize you with water for repentance. But after me comes one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Ah, the Holy Spirit is moving, is moving through this place. And the fire of God is coming upon the people today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Remando Shayam, mighty God, come on, people of God. God, begin to open your mouth and receive them. Yes, tell God, here I am, Lord. Use me here, I am, Lord. I receive that which you're doing in this season. Whatever you're doing, it's not going to miss me. Mm. Mighty God, oh Rimando Shaya, oh glory be to God, people of God, are ah, you ask? The Lord says it's important to ask, my God. In the book of Luke eleven thirteen, he says, "If you then know that you are evil, know how, ah God, know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more will your Father in heaven give Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? Are you asking the Lord for the Holy Spirit? Ah, open your mouth and ask your Father for the Holy Spirit. He says He will give you a ah." Good Good gifts he will give you gifts from heaven the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is here for the remnants of the most high God for the sons and daughters of God as the world is in our God eager anticipation we see the world in crisis now my God looting my God shooting our God we see killing we see ah, the people being abused and oppressed my God we see viruses hallelujah we see pandemic Rimando shaka Rimakutundu Rebeke Saya our good God Almighty evil government leaders that don't have answers. So much is happening. It's written. It is written in the word. And God says now is the time to roar as a child of God. Mighty God. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Receive the power of the Holy Ghost now. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive the fire of God. Rimando Shaya. Ah, help me, Holy Spirit. As we continue, the Lord began to speak some more people of God. Oh, hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. My God. Ah, fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Rimando. I am now. Ah, oh, God, the Lord. Mm, hallelujah. Mm. He says, uh, roar. O stands for obey uh, the Holy Spirit. Uh, obey the Holy Spirit. Uh, come on, people of God. Uh, you can receive something, uh, but if you don't, uh, hallelujah, obey it, uh, uh, then you won't, hallelujah. You won't know the full power of it. Uh, can I tell you what you carry? Uh, it is not for you. It is for God. Uh, it's for his relevance. Uh, it's for his glory. Uh, oh, bless the name of Jesus. Ah, uh, uh, people of God. Um, the God. God, our Father, our Father is putting a demand now on our God in that which He has given us, that which we are carrying. He wants us to give birth, hallelujah, in this era, remando shire, to that which He has given unto us. So He said, obey the Holy Spirit, obey my spirit. He said, no limitation. Take the caps off, take the culture off, take the religion off, take the programs off, take the schedules off, take the timetable off, take it off. In the name of Jesus, my God, he said, deep, call it unto deep. You cannot stay at the surface level and understand what it means to be obedient to the Almighty God, which is the highest form of worship. Mighty God, it's not lifting your hands and just saying hallelujah. It's not just clapping your hands and saying praise the Lord. It's not jumping around and saying all is good. God is good all the time. It is not just shaking your tambourine and just releasing. 
releasing keys and hitting the drum set mighty God it takes obedience to the spirit the still voice of God are you sensitive to the Holy Spirit to hear when he speaks Rimando Shayam mighty God that still voice do you remember Rimando Shaya when the man of God oh when he was running run with me even now Rimando Shaya oh when Elijah fleed mighty God 1 Kings 19 verse mighty God 12 ah mighty God when Elijah he thought that God was in the wind the wind, the great and powerful wind that tore up the mountains he thought that God was there when the earthquake came mighty God so many times we're looking for God in the noise we're looking for God in the crowd but it says the stillness my God be still and know that I am God be still in verse 12 of chapter 19 of 1 Kings after the earthquake came fire but the Lord was not in the fire and after the fire came a gentle whisper a gentle whisper people of God it's in the stillness of mighty God that we can detect and hear the almighty God the spirit comes as fire oh Rimando Shanda Rebekisaya my God, oh, many times uh, we're fanning, uh, we're fanning, uh, we're fanning the flame. Uh, we want to fan it out, we want to blow it out. Uh, oh, we want to have so much control. Uh, we want to quench it. Uh, and the Lord says, Grieve not uh, the Holy Spirit. Don't quench the Spirit of God. Uh, um, uh, synchronize with the Holy Spirit. Uh, it's not your way, uh, it is not your thoughts, uh, it is the thoughts of God. God, um, nah, hallelujah. You don't extinguish the fire of God, um, nah, mighty God. And how do you extinguish that? Uh, how do you quench it? Uh, do you know that fear is not of God? Um, nah, he said, I've not given you the spirit of fear, uh, ah, but I've given you uh, the spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. Power, Holy Spirit, power. He has given you power. Um, nah. Mighty God, I feel you, Daddy. Remando, um, nah. the Lord says, uh, My God, He has not given you fear. Um, nah. when you and uh, God uh, now when you subscribe to fear you're quenching the Holy Spirit uh, when you subscribe to control uh, my God they tell you now uh, ah uh, my God uh, that you need to do things within a particular minute uh, you need to sing for two minutes uh, you need to pray for half a second uh, mighty God uh, oh remando Siam now uh, you don't need to do this in church for a particular time uh, oh remando Shandai um, and even outside the four walls uh, my God we quench your spirit when the Lord gives us instruction uh, whether we be on the highways and byways ah uh, uh, we fear comes upon us we want to control it and we want to say no God give me some time send me to another set of people and we even say that we're not qualified we even say that we're not called we don't have titles or status I plead the blood the rich blood of Jesus now over every spirit of fear and every spirit of control in the name of Jesus mighty God and then we even want to control and quench the spirit by flawed theology we want to come and think whatever we say that's final but do you know that the word of God is powerful, it's active. Rimando Siam. Oh, it's like a two-edged sword cutting through Rimando Shaya our soul, cutting through bone and marrow, cutting through Rimando Shaya our hearts. Good God Almighty, the word is active. It's got it's always a movie, it's always continuous. There's always a new revelation. Mando Shaya. Ah, so man cannot put a cap on what the word is saying. Today you'll get a revelation from one text, and the next day the Lord gives you a whole new revelation. Mighty God. We're limiting God and the word. We're limiting his power in this time. Mighty God. We go deeper. We go wider. We go higher in the name of Jesus. Because we have received the power of the Holy Ghost. My God. And we are obeying him. We are obeying the spirit. Where you send me. Lord I'll go. What you say God. That I shall do. Is that your prayer? Is that your cry right now? In the name of Jesus. Come on people of God. Oh hallelujah my god mm. Oh, receive, receive, and obey uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, it's time to amplify. Uh, it's time to strengthen. Uh, it's time to move. Uh, it's time, mighty God, uh, uh, for the capacity of the Holy Spirit to expand within you. Uh, uh, take the caps off uh, because the miracle times are here. Uh, the signs and wonders are here, uh, but you got to obey. Uh, if he says move, you move. Uh, if he says go, you go. Uh, in the name of Jesus, not looking at the 
paces. Mando Rebekesaya. Neither looking to the right or to the left. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. My God. Make no provision for the flesh people of God. According to the word. Mighty God in Romans 13 verse 14. Make no provision for the flesh. Because the flesh will want to stay in control. The flesh will say obey me. The flesh will say no you don't need to get up and pray now. No you don't need to fast. You don't need to be part of that. No you don't need to participate. No you don't need to be involved. The flesh will say don't reach out to that one. That even though the spirit said pray for this brother. Pray for this sister. Ah, The flesh will tell you to do this. But heal not um, to the spirit. Ah, God, heal not to the flesh. Remando sabli the blood now. In the name of Jesus, healed and obey the spirit of the Almighty God. Mighty God, I love you, Daddy. Ah, the flesh. I pray now the flesh. You better die. Die now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We remember the man that was sitting at the pool of Bethesda for over 38 years in the book of John, chapter 5. Mighty God, 38 years. My God, he gave him. Ah, he gave his flesh ah, the authority over his life. The spirit didn't have a him now because if the spirit had full control he would be in alignment he would be synchronized moving him he would receive the power and he would move good God Almighty now good God Almighty will receive his healing but I hear the Lord saying I don't know how long you have been in your situation Rimando Shando but the Lord is saying get up now and obey the spirit of God now if you need to recommit your life to God you better do it now right where you are in your bedroom your living room, your bathroom, your kitchen, if you're on the streets, if you're at work, oh good God Almighty, you're visiting a family friend, uh, God says I uh, submit to him now, uh, receive the power of the Holy Ghost and begin to obey the Holy Spirit that dwells on the inside of you, he has come to fill you on uh, continuously, my God, mm. Holy Spirit of the living God, Holy Spirit of the living God, oh Shia, mighty God, mm -mm. I hear you daddy, roar people of God, ah, the of Jesus, A stands for, activate your authority, activate your authority, do you understand what you carry, come on people of God, the Lord has given you the gift, he has filled you and I released the promise, the Holy Spirit in you, what are you doing with the power that's inside of you, why are you releasing a faint sound when you need to roar, good God Almighty, do you know that with the power comes courage to rebuke sin, good God God Almighty, do you understand that the Lord has given you the power today, Rimando Shaya, to rebuke all that the enemy is coming with? Mando Rebekesaya, run with me to Micah chapter 3, verse 8. The Lord says, But as for me, hallelujah, I am filled with power, with the Spirit of the Lord, and with justice and might to declare to Jacob his transgression, to Israel his sin. Come on, pray pray this prayer right now, pray this prayer, pray the scripture in your life now, decree it over your life, I decree, I am filled with power, with the spirit of the Lord, and with justice, and might, to declare to Jacob his transgression, to Israel his sin, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Lord says, come on, it's time to activate the power, it's time to know what you carry, hallelujah, it's mighty, than any physical force, people of God. Oh, run with me to Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6. Oh, glory be to God. Ah, this is um, the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel. Not by might, nor by power, but it's by my spirit, um, says the Almighty God. You can do nothing without the Holy Spirit. Um, you can do nothing without the power. Come on, people of God. Christ dwell. Oh, glory be to God. The power of God dwells within us. Mighty God. Synchronizing us to do greater. To do mightier. Come on. You got to activate the power that comes by faith. Hallelujah. And I remind you that faith comes by hearing. And hearing.
living by the word of God. You need the word in you. You need the word in you. You need the word in you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. People of God. Jesus, even now, he even laid and set an example. He showed us that he operated with the Holy Spirit. Look at Luke 4, verse 14. Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit. My God, Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit hand in hand, moving and working. Are you aligned? Are you flowing with the Holy Spirit? Do you have the power of the Holy Spirit fully activated within you? Mighty God. It says Jesus, oh God, return to Galilee. Mighty God and news about him spread through the whole countryside. Mighty God, are you following the footsteps of Christ? If you have the Holy Spirit, then the good news, it got to spread. My God, I feel the fire of God up in this place. Mm. Oh, Rimando Shando Rebeke Saya. Oh, glory be to God. Come on, continue to worship God right where you are. Oh, glory be to God. Continue to give Him praise because He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Come on, people of God, activate your authority. Oh, God. Ah, we many times will repeat the armor of God in Ephesians chapter 6. But can I, God, can I, oh God, can I have you look right now at the verse 10? The word of God says, finally. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. What power is this? The Holy Spirit power. The Pentecostal power. The fire of the Holy Ghost. You got to be strong in the Lord. Strong in the Lord by faith. My God, and you have, you must have the Holy Spirit, the power of God on the inside of you. Oh, glory be to God. Come on, people of God. Mm. Oh, Jesus, mighty God. Oh, God, glory be to God. The authority is given unto you for boldness, people of God. Boldness to do. Boldness to go out. Boldness to legalize. Boldness to activate. Boldness to go. Boldness to do. Rimando Shire. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, people of God. Ah, come on, come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. We need to know what we carry this day. In the name of of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God. Mm. My God, you got to know your authority. You got to know your authority. In Acts 4 verse 33, with great power, the apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. With great power. They didn't get this power from themselves. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The power of God. The power of God. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The Spirit of Truth. Hallelujah. The Guide. Hallelujah. The Spirit of Help was upon on them, remind us the power of God, hallelujah, the supreme authority, hallelujah, glory be to God, that's a bigger than government, bigger than White House, bigger than the Supreme Court, bigger than every legislative body, bigger, in the name of Jesus, understand you get this power, people of God, oh, mando, why do you call on healing if you don't believe, you got to believe, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we get this power for healing, Mighty God, come on. In the book of Acts, chapter 18, verse uh, il, uh, glory be to God. Acts 19, uh, mighty God, verse 11. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, my God, God did extraordinary miracles through Paul um, so that even handkerchiefs and aprons uh, that, had, uh, that had touched him were taken to the sick uh, and their illnesses were cured and the evil spirits left them. My God, uh, a man handkerchief uh, was able to heal. Uh, mighty God, what power, what power. And God is no respecter of persons. That's his word. Mighty God in Acts 10 34. So God, the same power is in on the inside of you and I. Oh, glory be to God. I hear your Holy Spirit. Run with me. We are activating. We have been activated today for more. We have been activated even now. My God, I feel that it. Mm activated to do that which the Lord has commissioned us to do mighty God and the, the final the final uh, God the final the final word that the Lord says is release the glory 
uh, R stands for release the glory. Mighty God, release the glory, release the glory. Uh, what is that is saying? Uh, mighty God, uh, in the book of Luke. Uh, oh, glory be to God, Luke. Mighty God, I worship you now. I worship God. I worship the Holy Spirit. I worship Him. I give Him praise. I glorify Him. I thank Him for His presence. I thank Him for the glory. I thank Him that He's a promise keeper. I thank Him now. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. In the book of Mark, the book of Mark, the book of Mark chapter 16. And this was Jesus given the commission. Hallelujah. 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 He said, listen, Mark 16, 15 onwards, he said, go eat into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues they shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover so then after the lord had spoken up unto them he was received up into heaven and he sat on the right hand of God and they went forth and preached everywhere the Lord working with them confirming the word with signs following the Lord is saying release release the glory go as he has commissioned you Go as he has commissioned you to do the work. And he has given you the Holy Spirit. He has filled you. He has empowered you. Hallelujah. To do the work. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It is time for you to roar. Mm. It is time for you to make the sound. Hallelujah, it's time for you to activate. It's time for action. And it speaks louder than words. It's time, people of God, that you obey the Lord, where your action will produce results, where you'll not just speak, but now you'll do. Because speaking and not doing is actually death. Is where you don't believe. And God has called you to walk by faith and not by sight. It's time for you to be activated. To do the work that God has released for his people. He has commissioned us not to sit, not to stay still. Not to be silent, not to be led by any other power, but to go into all the world and preach the gospel. Where you are, where you go, what you do must reflect the glory. The glory needs to be returned, needs to be returned to the house, it needs to be returned to our temples, it needs to be returned and be released over the communities over the country, over government bodies in our schools. Hallelujah. It needs to be returned to every service areas. The Lord God, he said, listen, I didn't give you this to sit on. I've called you to be activated, to roar in this time. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hmm. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 16. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. 
so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you be rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know his love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever amen amen hallelujah remnant of God will you begin to roar it's time to synchronize. It's time to collaborate deeper with the Holy Spirit and become sensitive to his move and to his voice where you'll receive power, where you begin to obey the Holy Spirit, where you'll activate your authority and release the glory. You are a glory carrier and the Lord has commissioned you to go. Will you go? Will you do? What the Lord has called you to do. Receive the power today. Receive the Pentecost of fire of the Holy Ghost in your life. Ask and it will be given unto you. Believe with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. Activate what God has released in you. The power of the Holy Ghost. Do it for them, Lord. Move upon the heart of your people now. Just as how the two men, they were walking and you appeared, Jesus. And when you broke bread that evening with them, they asked, did my heart burn within me when he opened the scriptures? Father, let your people, let their heart burn within them now to know that you are right there, that you are speaking. Let them feel your presence. Let them feel the fire. Send the wind of revival over this land. Do it, God. We thank you. We thank you. We will roar in the name of Jesus. We'll roar.